What's going on guys? It's been a little bit. We've been pretty jam-packed lately. Tight schedule. Uh, I know you guys know about the turbo on the tag. Well, uh, that's what we've been working on. And today, we've got a couple things to show you guys and kind of catch up a little bit and uh, pick it off from here. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so now this is what we are working with. For the past about a week and a half, uh, I've been sitting here completely busting ass trying to get this thing going but um so one weekend me and my dad got the fabrication done to mount this up i went ahead and ran the wire get the wiring done for the fan i uh, ran the tubes got all that done cut the lines um we went ahead and fabricated some brackets to mount this uh kind of like how we do on the hyundai over there kind of same same stuff just utilize it and, this car um so we got a uh, t3 t4 hybrid turbo and um got our oil feed line running back so we got a uh, sandwich plate on the oil filter got our oil return just running right down there to the oil pan uh we used actually i was a little bit uh you know worried about this because i've heard about them and i never really use i usually a lot of people weld in some bungs i actually tried the no weld it's got the two crush washers with the o-rings built in and it actually worked out really well uh very clean and i like the way it worked so got that all done got quick releases now on the front bumper because we're gonna be taking this thing on and off a lot when we go out to the track so i figured you know the little screws that they put in there are a pain to get out but um so we did that and just put five up here so undo those five real quick pop the bumper off and you got a lot of access to pretty much everything I'll show you guys the gauges here. I've been working on these for about two days because went and wired them up and nothing was working at first. So I went through and troubleshot a little bit. But yeah, here's all the gauges now. Uh, oil pressure boost and then air fuel at the bottom there. Um, oil pressure, I don't have the solenoid connected right now. So we're not getting any, any readings. So I gotta try to find where I wanna go into. I don't know if I wanna go into the uh, sandwich plate and if I do screw it any of that but um yeah so we got our boost gauge here's our T coming off uh, we're not running a blow off valve went ahead and capped that off my dad made a custom ABS cap same stuff I use for like my consoles and switch panels and stuff like that so when I made an ABS cap got an o-ring under there and got the c-clip uh, all from all from HKS got to get a new coupler for here the couplers that they sent they didn't have one the joiner that will fit the throttle body so I ordered a new one but for now we're using the one off the cold air intake once the new one gets here we'll go ahead and swap that out got the whole entire exhaust over there for the old system uh, someone's supposed to come pick that up Saturday but uh yeah so this is just a downpipe for now coming off the uh, v-band it's a three inch I just got it fired up for now so uh, when we we're test driving it we don't like melt anything down there or, you know hurt nothing I also got a turbo blanket uh, sitting right over there in one of those boxes and a bunch of heat wraps so uh, Saturday we're gonna be taking this um, dropping it down here and we're probably gonna I'm not sure which direction yet but the mo we have most clearance going out to the driver's side so we're gonna come down at an angle go under the wastegate go under the AC compressor and out the bumper right here so it'll be nice uh, a little bit better than that drives great got a couple pulls on it built it up to about six pounds and she rips so definitely sure notice the difference i know we ran a 16.4 i think at the track so this would definitely be around 13. all right so you guys know how i am when it comes to led bulbs and these are they're like my collection partial of my collection of led bulbs throughout the years from just doing stuff i just got these in the mail yesterday these are for my truck um for pegasus i got put these in the new tail lights these are for the reverse bulbs um and here i need these today because these are for the automatic gear selector over here and the bulb when it was starting to go out one day it's, i think it was when we were at the track too i think it was in the last video well i was we were just driving i took it out on the way home <laughs> the whole entire bulb is like disassembled inside here as soon as i pulled it out so got another uh 
couple of them left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop another one in. Oh yeah, before we leave, I just wanna show you guys. I'm not sure if that's from the heat or if that's actually because when I actually did a first gear pull, it shot so much pressure out, it kind of launched this out and it kind of grabbed it by the harness and it flew it and it landed like right on the uh, fuel rail. So I'm not sure if that pulled out from that or if that's just from the heat melting it. But uh, either or, I'm just gonna plug it in real quick, see if it comes up and starts working again. So I got it clamped in, that's kind of how I had it. So now I'm just gonna start it up real quick and see if we get a reading on here. Check engine lights on. Now this gauge here starts reading volts, and when it starts searching for the O2 sensor, it switches over to air fuel ratio. So it does that for about a minute, and then it switches over. So you see oil pressure's not working. We're reading 150, which is very high. But it actually looks like it's working again. So let's go ahead and rev it up a little bit. It's reading, but not the greatest, so. I ordered another one anyways, it'll be here Saturday. So, it's always good to just put new sensors in so you don't screw something up down the road. But, yeah, so you heard it spool up a little bit. I think we got it to, what, zero? And, you know, it is what it is. Gonna go ahead and head to the store now. may know but this is where I used to work back in high school and I had the 115 and the 215 so this is kind of where that little bit of money came from. That's where my car sat in the impound back when Brooksville had a police department. But we got our o-rings so now time to go pick up boosted banks. Alright guys and now my favorite place of all time. So needed another organizer because all of our bins are full. I had got some loom for the tag, loom up a couple of those wires that we ran, and I don't know how many times I needed to get something out quick, and this will help me for the drill, use some sockets, and we're all good. All right, guys, so we kind of got organized here a little bit. Um, just kind of got a little head start. But now, I just tested out the turbo blanket. Fits pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to take it back off because we're getting the exhaust done tomorrow. So, got the hood mounted back up. I'm gonna go ahead and just get it all put back together and get ready to load it up on the trailer tonight gonna tow it over there first thing in the morning but that'll be another video and get the ripper around afterwards and see how she does but other than that guys we can go ahead and get her loaded up and close it off all right guys so got her all strapped up on the trailer so we just get up in the morning grab it and go take it to go get the exhaust done Thinking about just coming down and it looks like we have the most clearance out of the driver's side so we're just gonna come boom straight out when we get home cut a hole in the bumper and we'll be good to go otherwise that's all for today that'll be on next video we'll go ahead and take it for a rip next time and see how she does otherwise guys hope you guys enjoy this thing is coming along so well since day one man this thing was a piece from day one so I'm glad to see where it's going and uh, hopefully we get it to the track soon and see what she does otherwise hope you guys like this video be sure to leave a like down below hit that subscribe button otherwise I'll catch you guys later